Freshwater flows in the ocean form when large volumes of low salinity water enter a dense, salty marine environment. Because freshwater is lighter than seawater, it tends to remain near the surface, spreading outward as floating layers known as freshwater plumes. These plumes originate from three main sources, river discharge, melting ice, and intense rainfall. Rivers contribute the greatest volume. When a major river reaches the sea, the difference in density prevents rapid mixing, allowing a visible cap of warm brown freshwater to expand across the coastal ocean. In the polar regions, melting sea ice and glacial runoff create similar surface layers as temperatures rise. In tropical basins, heavy seasonal rain can freshen the upper ocean over large areas. Freshwater plumes are most commonly observed at the mouths of massive rivers such as the Amazon, Congo, Ganges Brahmaputra, and Mekong. The Amazon plume is the largest. Its influence spreads across more than a million square kilometers of the western Atlantic. In the Arctic, meltwater from Greenland and sea ice decline has formed persistent low salinity zones in the Labrador and Nordic seas. Freshening is also detected by satellites in the Bay of Bengal during the monsoon, where rain and river discharge combine to lower surface salinity. These plumes have substantial consequences. By reducing seawater density, freshwater alters vertical mixing and can create strong stratification. This limits nutrient exchange between deep and surface waters, which in some regions suppresses phytoplankton growth. In other regions, the river-borne nutrients stimulate highly productive ecosystems and fisheries. Freshening can also influence climate. In the North Atlantic, excess freshwater threatens to weaken thermohaline circulation, potentially slowing the Gulf Stream and cooling northwestern Europe. At regional scales, freshwater lenses can modify sea surface temperature, evaporation, and storm development. Thus, even though they are thin and often invisible, Freshwater plumes play a powerful role in shaping coastal biology, ocean circulation, and the climate system.